Yes, indeed. This issue of uh, induced seismicity, uh, particularly associated with, uh, with wastewater disposal, it's actually a high injection of, of wastewater in, in association with fracking rather than the, the fracking itself is a, a very important issue. It's one the USGS is spending a lot of time on the last couple of years. Uh, Bill Leith has been happy to give, but it, it almost seems like a briefing a week at times on this. So, Bill, would you like to just comment on, on what's being done right now in this yeah, arena? Yes, there's, there's quite a lot going on actually over several years now since the National uh, Research Council put out its, its report on uh, induced seismicity in 2012, uh, followed by uh, a hearing here on Capitol Hill on the Senate. Um, and, uh, and now the development of uh, three agency research collaboration between the Department of Energy, the EPA, and the USGS. Um, but just to emphasize uh, what Dave said, it's not actually the fracking that is the, the issue for induced earthquakes uh, because the injected water volumes are relatively small. It's the waste disposal part during the production phase after fracking that uh, a, a lot, there's a lot of uh, wastewater, which is mainly very salty water that needs to be disposed of, um, it's injected back into the earth and it's that injection process that, uh, have, that carries the, the additional hazard for uh, triggering earthquakes. Um, and also that process, uh, that, in, that, that those big volume injection wells can occur without fracking uh, through some secondary recovery techniques in the oil and gas industry. Um, and to be happy to talk to you more about that. I have been down here many times on the Hill talking with staff. Um, and I, I uh, understand that uh, there's been another hearing called for, I don't think it's been scheduled, but called for on the induced seismicity issue. Yeah, it's actually a great example of uh, some of these sort of long-term research efforts uh, that have been underway uh, looking at, at an issue like that. And all of a sudden, there are a lot of people feeling a lot of, of earthquakes in places they're not used to it. And we've been able to bring that research understanding and then bring the monitoring capability, uh, working particularly with the, with the state, state geological surveys and others um, to, uh, to deal with a, an issue that has really transformed in the last several years. Mm -hmm.